Next up, the now legendary Impact Engineered Awards Program, where some of the most distinguished members of the engineering community honor some of their most accomplished colleagues. And to guide us through it, it's my pleasure to introduce Kara Miller. Many of you know Dr. Miller from the column she writes for the Boston Globe about the latest big ideas in research. For the past 10 years, she hosted Innovation Hub, which aired on public radio stations all over the country. Those of us at ASME are grateful to Kara for serving on the advisory committee of the Lemelson Foundation, which is a major supporter of iShow. Please welcome Dr. Kara Miller. Hi, it's great to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Um, you know, I um, talked to a, a friend of mine who's an engineer in advance of doing this, and um, he, he pointed out to me that so often um, we don't realize the real impact that engineers have, the ripples that go out from the things they do. And he, he gave me this example. He said, you know, lifespans in the U.S. just about double between 1900 and 2000. Um, and there's almost one profession to thank for that change. Um, and it's, it's not just that engineers created innovative things, had physical creations, um, were inventors, but it's also the implementation, right? The systems that came out of those innovations that had that sort of big, big ripple impact. Um, and that's really part of the reason I'm so excited to be with you today because of that, that idea of, of the power of impact. Um, my own life for the last dozen or so years has been about telling stories that come from science, that come from academia, that come from engineers and bringing them to a larger public. And one of the things that so, has been so striking to me is that very often the scientists, the engineers um, who are, they're, they're so anxious to tell their stories. And yet as they aim to tell those stories, the people on the other end um, who are there to receive their stories, the journalists, they are also anxious to receive the stories. And yet the two hands reach out. And sometimes I think it's hard for them to connect. Um, so I think one of the great things about the people that you're going to hear about today, um, that they get that stage, that they get that stage to tell their story um, and they get that, that impact that they're making amplified. Um, and the people that we're gonna hear about today, they didn't just build physical stuff, though you're certainly hear, gonna hear some of that. They've also changed our mindset about who we are, right? They, they help redesign, and this is what the best engineers do, they help redesign how we think about where do we belong? What can we pull off? Who are we? Um, engineering really shifts those expectations. And I think not enough people realize that. Um, probably every person sitting out there has a friend or a family member who when they hear you're an engineer, you can see like the curtains go up, the wall goes up and they're like, yeah, I can't access that. I do, I, I'm not gonna understand anything that you're going to say. Um, and so I think more and more telling the stories of invention and innovation are so crucial. Um, it's something I have been doing for a long time and I hope to keep doing, um, but bringing those stories to a wider audience allows people to really access the amazing work that so many people that we've been hearing from earlier today and that we'll hear from later in the hour are doing. Um, I wanna, come to the first um, a first award, which I think is speaks exactly to what I've been talking about, sort of making those connections, which are so important for people on both ends. Um, so to pre present the Academic Ally Award, I'm gonna turn it over to Kendra Sharp. She's the head of the Office of International Science and Engineering at the National Science Foundation. Kendra, over to you. <laughs> 